Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example about multi-stage conveyor. So let's look at the example first. Multi-stage conveyor. When a start button is on, then the first stage motor runs for 10 seconds then stops. After a 5 seconds delay, the second stage motor runs for 20 seconds and then the third stage motor will run for 15 seconds. So for motor 1, we will use a timer TP and then for motor 2, we will use a timer T on for 15 seconds and then TP for 20 seconds. And then motor 3, we will use T on for 35 seconds and TP for 15 seconds. We can also interpret this uh, problem statement in another way that is when a start button is on, then the first stage motor runs for 10 seconds and then stops. So after start button is turned on, then there is a delay of 5 seconds for second stage motor which will run for 20 seconds and then third stage motor will run for 15 seconds. So we will start with the first interpretation in this video and then we will discuss the same example and interpret this problem statement in another way in which there will be some change in the cascading of timers. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for multi-stage conveyor. I will open EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221 C24. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the example. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for start button. I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. And then I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as first stage motor. or simply motor 1 and then yes. So the first stage motor should be on for 10 seconds. So I will insert a timer here and that should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset it as 10 and then apply. So when start button is turned on, motor 1, first stage motor will be on 
for 10 seconds and then after 10 seconds it will stop and then I will add a new rung here I will insert normally open contact I will assign address to it as same as start button that is I 0.0, .0. then I will insert a coil here I will assign address to it as Q 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as second stage motor that is motor 2. Yes. So motor 2 should be on after 15 seconds. That is when motor 1 will be off then there will be a delay of 5 seconds and then motor 2 will be on. So when I turn on start button, motor 2 will be on after 15 seconds. So here I will insert timer and it should be T on because we have to delay. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 15 and then apply so motor 2 will be on after 15 seconds and it should be on for 20 seconds so I will insert another timer for motor 2 and it should be TP so that it will run for 20 seconds I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 20 and then apply so when start button is turned on motor 2 will be on after 15 seconds and for 20 seconds then I will add a new rung here for third stage motor I will insert normally open contact for start button I will assign address to it as I 0, 0.0. I will insert a coil here and then I will assign address to it as Q 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as third stage motor or simply motor 3. So motor 3 will be on after 35 seconds. So I will insert timer here and that should be T on. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 35 seconds and then click on apply. So motor 3 will be on after 35 seconds and it should be on for 15 seconds. So for that I will insert one more timer here and that should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and press it as 15 and then apply. So when start button is turned on there will be a delay of 35 seconds and then after motor 3 will be on for 15 seconds. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program and then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. I will go to programming tab, full screen mode. So when I turn on start button, Motor 1 will be on 
for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds that is when motor 1 will be off and then after 5 seconds 4 5 motor 2 will be on for 20 seconds 5 6 18, 19, 20 and then motor 3 will be on for 15 seconds. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.